Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. That's a great idea. Yes, I have to go. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, I'm Mr. Dawson, and welcome back to Discovery Ranch. You're here with me so that we can take Discovery tours around the ranch so we can learn how to read and write. Join me here each day so we can learn something new together. By the way, don't forget, if you will write to me right here at the station at Valley PBS, I will send you an activity book. Just write to me and tell me something you learned, and then I'll get to send you a book. Well, let's get started. What time is it? Oh, oh, the first thing we're going to do, always what? Daily phonemic awareness. I like doing that. Okay, today we're going to practice blending. Look at this first word. Do you see the clue, the E is going to tell the O, don't say your sound, say your name. Okay, let's blend it. Are you ready? J, O, yeah, it's O, right? Because the E is going to tell the O to say its name. J, O, K. Now let's blend it together slowly. J, O, K. Joke. Now go really fast. Joke. What's the word? Joke. Great job. When you're reading a book and you see a word that you don't know, use the skills that we've learned here at the ranch and sound it out and then blend it. Here's another one. Ya am. There you go. Are you ready to blend it? Here we go. Yam. Let's go a little bit faster. Yam. Let's go really fast. Yam. Yam. That is exciting. Oh, yes, and I love yams, that's for sure. Oh, here's another one. Oh, when I look at it, what do I see? I see a clue already. I see the E. And the E at the end it usually is telling the other vowel to say its name. So this time, it, I is not going to say I, no way. What's it going to say? It's going to say I. Okay, you ready to uh, sound it out? Here we go. B, I, K. Okay, here we go. Let's blend it. Let's go really slow. Slow motion, slow first. B, I, K. Let's go a little bit faster. B, I, K. Ooh. One last time really fast. You ready? Bike. Bike. You did it. That is excellent. Oh, my goodness. We're doing so well. Okay, last one. Are you ready for the last one? Let's go. G. Uh. Mmm. We did it. Okay, now let's blend it. Slow motion, slow. You ready? G. Um. Let's go a little bit faster. Gum, really fast. Gum, gum, whoa, we did it. We did all four words. We're amazing. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to do some sight words. Are you ready for some sight words? Remember when you do sight words and you remember them in your brain, when you see them in a book, you'll say, oh, I know that word. Or if you need to write them, you can say, oh, let me, oh I know that word. And we have two new, uh, 10 words that are new this week, but we've been learning these all year. So this is kind of a review. Are you ready? Let's go. Some, S-O-M-E, spell some. Put, P-U-T, spells put. Does, D-O-E-S, spells does. Come. C-O-M-E spells come. Who, W-H-O spells who. 
good. G-O-O-D spells good. Has. H-A-S spells has. Two. T-O-O -O spells two. Help. H-E-L-P spells help. And what? W-H-A-T spells what? Great job, kindergartners. All right. All right. Now it's time for our sentence. Are you ready? Oh, let me come in here and get my pen and walk over here. I wonder what sentence we're going to do today. Are you ready? Here we go. Um, oh, I see. Oh, this is a great sentence. My sentence today is, I like my cat. Let's clap and count and see how many words are in that sentence. Are you ready? Get your clappers ready. Here we go. I like my cat. How many words? Four words, right, four words. What's the sentence? I like my cat. So we have to write all these words up here and then we'll have a sentence. Are you ready? So if my sentence is, I like my cat, what's the first word? I, that is a sight word. I, look at that. Look at that. What's the next word? I like my cat. I have I, what's the next word? Like, another sight word. I have to recall it. I have to recall it. Oh, oh, I heard somebody right there. L I K E spells like. So if I have I like my cat, I have I, I have like. What's the next word? My, another sight word. Do you see how important knowing these sight words are? Oh my goodness, how do you spell my? Right, M Y. Okay, so my sentence is, I see my cat, and I have, I see my, what's the last word? Cat. Now, that's not a sight word, so we're going to have to sound that out. Got your hands up? Are you ready? Let me see those hands. Here we go. Got to do slow motion, slow with all those sounds on your fingers. Here we go. <sighs> At. How many phonemes? Three. What's the first phoneme? <laughs> is for C, A is for A, and T is for T. Okay, so I have my sentence, I like my cat. I have the word I, I have like, I have my, and I have cat. Do I have any more fingers for words? No, I don't have any more fingers for words, so what do I need to do? I need to put a punctuation. So I'm going to put a period there. There we go. Now let's just check. Let's just check to see if we have a sentence. Remember, the first thing we have to see is, do I have a capital letter at the first? Yes, I do. Do I have my nouns? I have I and cat. And do I have a verb? Yes, like. And do I have a punctuation? Yes, period. So I have a sentence. But I have to say right now that that is kind of, you know, boring. We could jazz it up maybe. How could we do that? That's right. Let's use an adjective. I can say, what kind of cat? Oh, I know. What if I said a big cat? So I can change it. So now it makes it a little bit more interesting. I don't say, I like my cat. I can say, I like my big cat. And that made it a little bit more interesting. And we could have added on where he is, too. And that would even make it more interesting. That way, you just don't have to say, I like my cat. No way. Jazz it up. Make it, make it a very interesting sentence. All right, it's time to review our Phonics, all our sounds that we've been talking about. Remember, we've been talking about vowels, and vowels are important because uh, in kindergarten they make two sounds. Do you remember that vowel can say it's sound, which is what it really likes to do, but when it's asked, it can say its name as well, and there's clues. Do you remember doing all those, 
all those clues for the different long vowel sounds? You look for those just like in our words today we read, like joke. There was that O blank E pattern that was a clue. So A says A ah and A. E says E eh and E. I says I and I. O says A ah and O. And U says A uh and U. And sometimes, ooh. And then we've we talked also about the digraphs. Remember, that is where you have two letters that make one sound. CH says CH. TH says TH. SH says SH. And WH says WA. WA. Digraphs. Two letters that make one phoneme. And then yesterday we started talking about OO and how it can say UH. So I have these cards right here. Look at these four cards. I, they were on there yesterday, but now I want to talk about them. Because listen to the word and then listen for that uh sound. Hook. Uh, hook. Hook. So if I was going to spell hook and I heard uh, I would use o o. Or if I had cook, listen to it. K uh. Did you hear the uh? So if I was going to spell, uh, if I heard it, I'd say, how do I spell that? How do I spell that? Oh, I know. I'm going to use O-O. And here's book. B uh, uh. Did you hear the uh? There it is. So what two letters would you use? Right. Uh, uh. Okay. Here's one. Football. Football. Foot. I just want to take that first syllable. Foot. Uh, uh. If I hear uh, what two letters am I going to use? Right, o, oh, o, oh, uh, because o, oh, o oh, sometimes can say uh, as in book and hook and cook and foot. Well, let's take a look at our, our passage. We don't have very much time. Maybe I can come up with a couple of them. We stopped off yesterday with this sentence. Let's see if we can go to the next sentence and find some OOs that are going to say uh. She found some g uh uh. There it is. Look at that. Uh uh. G -ud. She found some good spots to look. L uh uh uh. Uh. There it is. Look at that. Look at all those uh. OO says uh. Okay. She stood. Oh, there's another one. St uh uh. Uh, she stood still to look. Look at all those uh. O, O can sometimes say uh. And that's what you, that's part of reading. When you look at some words and you say, oh, oh, that's O, O. It could say uh. So then when I sound it out, I would say uh. Just like in this one. Look, look when I blend it. Awesome job. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. I enjoyed my time with you, and I hope that tomorrow you come back so we can study all this stuff some more. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.